online dating has been around for a little bit now, in fact, quite a while. But did you ever try to find the love of your life with geolocation technologies? What the heck is that? It's kind of scary. We are welcoming Merdad Sarlak, right? Did I say it that right? That was brilliant. Right. Amazing, Randy. <laughs> You've got this website called Cupid Radar, and it's something different. And people out there who are looking for love and perhaps have seen online dating services, they go, Ah, they're all the same. Right, right. How is it different? Well, this is very different. It actually uses your current location and it finds other singles who are around you right now. So the idea is at any given point in time, you're walking around going about your busy life and there are hundreds if not thousands of people around you right now. Some of them are single and maybe one of those people is your soulmate, but you have no idea except keep it right. I Until you. you try. Yeah. Well, show us some of the, um, some of the, I guess, little attractions on this okay. thing, for lack of a better word. Sounds good. So this <laughs> is designed to work primarily on your smartphone device, right, like right. an Apple, uh, an iPhone, Android, or Blackberry. But it works great on your home computer, too. So what it does is it literally will tell you your distance from other people. So you set up a profile, which okay. we've made very quick and easy. And when you log in, you do your find your matches. This is kind of our home page. And it says, let's see who shows up on your radar. So it does a search, and it, re it returns some results Cutie for you. blonde, loves coffee, I sweet and sassy. <laughs> so, yeah, these are all the profiles. And, I, and I've got to ask you, are you attached, Miradon? <laughs> no, I'm currently single. You are currently, but you're not using the site because you've got to separate business and pleasure. Yeah, well, like, exactly right. Business okay. is business, and, and my personal life has got to be separate How many that. people use online services like this? How many people are looking for love like oh, this? Oh, it's, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, online dating, it, you know, there's, the estimate is up to 50 million singles in America wow. have actually used online dating at one point or another. What's interesting is few of them will admit that, but, but most people use it. What is the stigma? Because, you know, I know and I've heard of many, many people mm -hmm. where it's worked for them and they're in a very loving and committed relationship. Sure. I think the stigma comes from the fact that most people think, hey, if I'm really desirable and wonderful, I should just be able to find somebody off, you know, right. anywhere I go, at a party, mm -hmm. at a friend's house, I shouldn't have to resort to going online. But, but to me, the idea is that why not use a technology that, that we have available to us to meet people. Well, and, and, and if there are people out there who have used online dating services before, they say, you know, some of these are really expensive mm -hmm. and I got no dates out of the deal, right. but this is different as far as pricing. Yeah, one of our philosophies about how we treat customers is you shouldn't pay for something you don't use, and you should pay for something only to the extent that you use it. So we basically charge people a, a nominal fee on a one-time connection basis. So when you message somebody, it's $2, less than the price of a cup of coffee. So it's kind of pay-as-you-go. Pay-as-you-go, and, and once you establish a connection with that person, when they respond to you, you've now connected, you don't ever have to pay again to communicate with that person. Wow, that's different. So you pay different. 2 bucks one time. Well, the idea is I don't want you know people to have to pay 30 40 bucks a month uh, for messaging one or two people if that's the only person that they want to contact. Yeah, you break it down message-wise. It doesn't... It's, it's, it's not too that's bad. A, those yeah. are expensive messages. So what do we do? It's on our smartphone. Can we just look it up as an app? Absolutely. You, you just go to cupidradar.com. We've designed it as a web app, so it works on all smartphones, Android, um, iPhone, Blackberries. Wow. You set up your profile, and it locates you, but what it doesn't... It doesn't tell you where other people are. Right, it just for tells security you, reasons. It tells you how Absolutely. far they are, and we even round that to the nearest smile. We take safety and security very seriously, Oh, that's obviously. really Really good. All right. If you want to learn more about Cupid Radar, we, of course, will have it on our website at fox2now.com. We'll link you right up to it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much All for right. having me, Randy. Time to take a break, and we'll be right back.